As a fan of Zack Snyder, as a fan of these massive, iconic characters, it was a wonderful thrill to see these characters come to life in such an epic, grand scale. And some of you are wondering, well, what happened, man? What happened to these characters? What happened to Zack Snyder's DCEU that had all the potential in the world? Well, it was a couple of factors. Number one, Warner Brothers are fucking idiots. Number two, Zack Snyder is a very, very divisive director. He's a director who has his online Snyder cultist, Snyder tards, if you call them. <laughs> has a very crazy, devoted, devoted fan base. But he's also an acquired taste. And as much as I love Man of Steel, I love Batfleck. I absolutely adore Zack Snyder's Just League. It was just too out of the box it was too dark it was too somber and it just didn't resonate with the general audience unfortunately especially at the time where the mcu was just kicking ass all over the place not so much now but back then the mcu was mike tyson and the dceu was buster douglas and right now it's just a a, a pitiful shame that it didn't connect but i'll break it all down Let's start with Black Adam. Woo Black Adam. I feel so bad for Dwayne. Yo, yo, yo. The Rock Johnson. Black Adam had all the ingredients to be a compelling, great movie, but it just failed to deliver. And not to mention, The Rock was hyping up Henry Cavill. I was so excited to see Henry Cavill come back when Henry, when Henry Cavill uh, made his appearance in the theaters. No joke. My theater was dead silent. It was dead silent. You know why I was dead silent? Because the last time we saw Henry Cavill's Superman was back in 2017 in that abomination called Justice League. People actually forgot that Henry Cavill was actually Superman. That was embarrassing. And Henry Cavill made this grand statement like, hello everyone, I'm back. And then poor guy had to go back the following week and say, hello everyone, I'm fired. <laughs> Like, what? Like, Warner Brothers, why did you do my boy Henry Cavill dirty like that? Like, bro, if I was Henry Cavill, I would have deleted all my social media accounts, bro, because that, I would have died from utter embarrassment. And The Rock, poor guy, imagine trying to hype up all the fan base and get, and you got Henry Cavill back to play Superman, and you're going to start your own DC Black Adam verse, and then Black Adam comes out, and it just completely falls flat on its face. Oh, talk about an utter big fat veiny L. <laughs> now let's talk about The Flash, bro. I really like this movie, The Flash. But again, it bombed. It bombed. Why? Because number one, it was connected to the DCEU, which clearly the general audience said, hey, we don't like Zack Snyder's interpretation of these characters. We don't like his movies. His movies are utter trash. I don't agree with that. But, the, but for the most of the general audience, they do not, do not like Zack Snyder's take, especially BVS. BVS was really the catalyst that just kickstarted all of this drama because BVS, the theatrical cut, was so bad it was so terrible, and it put such a bad taste in everyone's mouth. People were like, you know what? I'm done after this. I really don't care to see a another Just League film. I really don't care to see any of these characters that are associated with his world and his universe. Like, you know what? We're going to stick to the MCU because the MCU at that time, like, like I said, was kicking ass. Especially when BVS was released. What was, what was released months later? Civil War. And Civil War was dope as fuck. Love that movie. So again, it was really Man of Steel, which was very divisive, and it was really BVS that just tipped over everything that was going to be an utter failure for the DCEU moving forward. That's the reason why. The reason why was BVS, and the Snyder Tarts actually think it was a good movie. Same thing happened with Shazam. Again, all these movies are good. And you know what's funny? All these movies would actually be a box office success if Man of Steel, BVS, 
And if we ever got to see Zack Snyder's Justice League, the live action version, his cut at least, in theaters, all these movies would be performing so much better. I guarantee you, I guarantee you The Flash, Black Adam, Shazam, even, even Black Adam, which was, you know, it was mediocre. It was a fun movie, but it's very mediocre. Even that movie would be a massive success if Zack Snyder's DC Universe was handled properly. It was handled properly. Even the Su even Suicide Squad, David Ayer's Suicide Squad. Of course, it made a lot of money. But at the, but at the time, now when you look back on it, it's like, yeah, people look back on it saying it's not a good movie. It's not a good movie. Even bad movies can make a lot of money. But again, you see the results, right? It made a lot of money. But then what happened? Word of mouth kicks in. And word of mouth is like, yeah, this movie is really bad. It's really like movie really bad. It, it's not good. Should we see the next DC movie? Nah, let's skip it. What about this movie? Nah, let's skip it. What about this other? What about this DC movie? This DC movie actually looks good. Nah, let's skip it. <laughs> like, it was just compounding one bad movie after another bad movie after another bad movie after another bad movie. And you see the results. You see the results right now. Flash flopping. Shazam flopping. Black Adam flopping. Aquaman 2 could flop. But Aquaman, the, first Aquaman, the first Aquaman made a billion dollars, which is crazy. The fact that Aquaman made a billion dollars over Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman tells you everything you need to know about how badly this DC property was handled. Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, the first one, should have easily made a billion dollars. It didn't. Why? Because Wonder Woman was associated with BVS. And BVS, by all accounts, is universally hated. That was the problem. If Man of Steel was great, if BVS was great, if Zack Snyder's Justice, if that movie, was, if his cut was released in theaters, if all these movies were great, all these movies that we're seeing right now would not be flopping. It would not be flopping. But it's flopping because Zack Snyder is an acquired taste and his movies, again, say it with me, did not resonate with the general audience. That's the reason why all these DC movies are flopping and that's why the DCU is needed. That's why James Gunn came in to reboot everything because these movies are not working. Zack Snyder's movies did not work for the general audience. And I don't know why this is so hard to understand for some people, but it is what it is. If, if Zack Snyder's universe was great, these movies would not be flopping. Love you all. Stay safe. Mwah. Truth out. A fucking alien.